Okay. I'm learning the devil's strategies now. A sentence I thought I would never have to learn or have to say. And honestly, the damage isn't too bad. I was really led to believe that this would be like fighting something harder than Dracula himself. I just need to get in at the right times, and then he can't do anything to me. Standard enemy stuff. Like that, I just need to, uh, go in immediately. The difficulty comes from the... Lack of knowing what the hell is what. Also that. The fact that he can just immediately go into that. I have no aerial mobility. Okay. Okay, what was that? I ran out of fear. I assume that's more of a, oh, hey, I'm going to hit you with your own whip type deal. That attack might also just redirect projectiles. You know, I'm gonna take the chance to just drop a uh, safety save right there. Oh, that was dumb. That was also dumb. As soon as I see him lift his hand, that's when I need... My tootsies were burned. Yeah, now it's just a case of continuing. Ah, I'll deal with it. That was basically just a bunch of free damage. Okay, note to self. When he does... lift himself up into the air... That's kind of... the way to go. And like that, I believe the arena is done. So what is our prize? The Shining Armor. Now, be, be aware. Okay, the knight suit is what we're wearing. The Platinum Armor gives us 90 extra defense over the Platinum Suit. Or, uh, over the knight suit. The Shining Armor increases our defense by, uh, a healthy 500. So the knight suit is giving us 100 defense. Yeah, 100, well, actually 60 defense. So the shining armor is 10 to everything else except for defense, which is 500. It is the best armor in the game and now I own it. And we don't need uh, to worry about much else. So I'm actually going to equip the and Intelligence ring because our defense is so high. I have nothing to worry about Then again the star bracelet gives me more you know what I'll I'll have the star bracelet why not and This sets us out right here And now we just got to get to a save room and leave this accursed place now, the fun thing is, because I got out the way I did, 
I have so much health with which to use in my escape. And the main fear was I'd have so low health that the fallen angel would get me. Evidently, that was not the case. With that, if I press this, 99.1%. Checking this. Yeah, it, it looks pretty good on my end. That I have missed nothing. I collected all the cards. I think I found every secret room. I mean, we're still missing one by technicality. Oh, you want to know what's funny? I missed another secret room. And the fastest way to get to that secret room is by going through the arena again, which I'm saying no to. Because it would be slower. Technically, if I went through the arena again, I wouldn't have any problems. Also, we're level 45. In another game mode, the arena's supposed to be taken on... Well, you could take the arena on. At level 30, of all things. Okay. You know what? If you're going to just tank all the things that I'm doing... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, why am I so dumb? Why am I so dumb? I completely blanked that this was not the right area. I forgot that the arena doesn't cycle back to the entrance. It cycles to the second to last part of the game. One more. Yes, right here. Now, literally everything along this path should... Well, prove me wrong, I guess. All right. All right. I'm fine. This right here is a save station. And before saving, I'm going to show off my combos. Having shown off everything, I see it only fitting to start Mercury and Unicorn. Oh, hitting all the wrong buttons. Holy Whip, health is replenished with each swing of the whip. Quite nice. Uh... Okay, that's... I'm trying to figure out what that is. Oh, defense increases by double while inflicting... Well, inflict the damage is half. So basically, we deal half damage, but we also take less. A circular barrier will surround you. And yes, with Ares, you have the Holy Sword Excalibur, which deals more damage based on where the attack hits. Diana. We get a Holy... Uh, shell? A guided shell is released with each attack, so homing shot. With Apollo, uh, an arrow of light is hurled down. An arrow of light is hurled down. I'm sorry, game, I think you mistook an arrow for multiple. Uh, Neptune we won't be able to see aside from, like... I might have been wrong about this in the fact that there might be another enemy with Holy Element. So, with Saturn, we get a Cherub Familiar with Uranus. Hmm. Well, when in doubt, run into the nearest enemy. 
trying to figure this one out. This one might be a still one. I try to make it a point to not look up what each skill does. I was dumb. I was dumb. I forgot Aranos is summoning. And finally, Pluto. I believe this is... Yeah, the body glows with light and cannot be hit with anything. So complete immortality. Or invincibility. Now on to Black Dog. You get a Dark Whip. Which takes a bit longer to throw out. Darkness Whip. To attack and envelop enemies in darkness. With Venus. Well, it happened with attack. And it's the exact opposite of a unicorn. We inflict double damage while defense is halved. So, technically, this is the best one I could think of. Like, let's just compare in our Thunderbird damage increase. 897. Versus, yeah, no. Thunderbird is the better option still. Jupiter, a black hole barrier will surround you, but HP is drained. So yeah, we trade out HP for a barrier. And we got a gun, and yeah, we flourish with it. It's also the highest damage weapon out of uh, all their combinations. Attack with a gun. And as you can see, 1200. Firing it takes long. Diana? We get a Mega Man sound effect, and eight shells of darkness are released with each attack. Apollo. We just throw the void at things. A black hole is created. Just casually creating a rift in space-time. Oh, wait, that was Neptune, wasn't it? Actually, Neptune's easy to show off. Because if I'm correct... Yep. Almost every enemy that's a skeleton or undead is going to be Dark Element. Darkness attacks heal character while reducing MP. Good old Saturn summons a little devil. An infamiliar that has power-up attacking. Ox. Uh, when attack is held. So to show this off, as we twirl our or whip, it releases, well, DBZ moves. With Uranus, we summon the dog himself. Just across the screen. A black dog will be summoned to attack. And finally, Pluto. We play as a skeleton. Transforms into a skeleton at 5 MP cost. And I believe the only downside is our movement is ridiculously hindered. But sometimes we throw a bloody massive bone. This, this is why joke characters are always appreciated. So yes, that has been showing off every, with an asterisk, because Neptune, combination in the game. But then again, I don't need to show off Neptunes, because it's just, you heal off of whatever damage is the same element as the attribute card you're using. Now, we only have one thing to do, save Master and kill Dracula. As well as head to another secret room that I keep forgetting to go into. 